30. In the diagram below, L is parallel to M, and QR is perpendicular to ST at R. And measure of angle 1 equals 63. Find measure of angle 2. Okay, so we're looking for the measure of angle 2. We've been given the measure of angle 1. It's 63. And we also know L and M are parallel. And when two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, alternate interior angles are congruent. So one is an alternate interior angle with this angle, right? So this must be 63. And then we know, and they've labeled it for us, the QR is perpendicular to ST, so this is a right angle. So if this is 90 and this is 63, the sum of the internal angles must be 180, so angle 2 must be 180 minus 90 minus 63 which equals 27. That's the correct answer.